friends, I have a terrific recipe for you today. It is my corn dish, as my friends call it, or my corn casserole dish. Either way it goes, it is a terrific dish and you're gonna absolutely love it. It is a favorite for my Thanksgiving dinner, so you have to try it and then tell me how it worked out. All of my ingredients will be listed below. So I have starting out with some cream cheese and butter and heavy whipping cream. So in my saucepan, I'm going to marry all these together. I, my, degree, my ingredients will say to cube these so that you don't have to do this method, but hey, you know your girl like to make it a little bit more challenging for herself. But anyway, if you have not hit the thumbs up button, please smash it right now. It costs you absolutely nothing. So anyway, I have to have married all of that together. I'm seasoning up this mixture with some peppers, some granulated garlic. Uh, I use a little bit of seasoning salt, but if you don't wanna use seasoning salt, you can just use regular salt. Either way it goes, you gotta add some salt, okay? Or it's not gonna be that tasty. So I have shredded my cheeses and I have buttered my baking dish. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna make it like a lasagna. I have one layer of corn, and next I'm gonna take that wonderful cream cheese mixture. I'm going to pour that on top. So I'm separating this hat into half and I'm going to smooth that across the top of the corn. I probably could have put a little bit more right there, but that's okay. It's gonna all marry together perfectly fine. I'm going to add some little pickled jalapenos. If you don't wanna use the pickled jalapenos, you can use the regular jalapenos, but keep in mind, the more jalapenos you add, the more spicier it's going to be. If you don't like spice, I would omit that. If you don't like spice or you don't want it to have a little kick. So anyway, next I'm gonna add in the second layer of corn, and then I'm gonna add the remainder of the cream cheese, and I'm gonna smooth it across the top. Um, the same method that I did on the other layer, add a little bit of the pickle jalapenos and then and again you have to keep in mind that we have pickle jalapenos below and pickle jalapenos above so there you goes your spice that we're talking about so if you don't want a lot of spice don't add a lot of jalapenos or don't add any at all you add your cheese and then I'll add a, you know a couple of teaspoons of uh, happy whipping cream on top just to make sure it has enough moisture um, and then I season the top of it with black pepper and a couple of dashes of guess what smoked paprika you know your girl she always got to have that on it and make it real pretty anyway it's gonna go in an oven that I have preheat for 375 degrees and I added some salt on there too you guys I'm sorry I didn't tell you that but it came out perfect look how beautiful it is oh my god it's so delicious Thank you guys for watching, and as always, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.